She literally replied straight away saying, my kind of car can't wait to meet you. She's gonna cheat on me. She's literally going to cheat on me. Yo guys, it's Lee. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. Today, you're in for a special treat. Yes, you are, because this is going to be a banger video. Oh my god, I am so cool. Ladies and gents, strap yourselves in. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Today, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, I am going to be doing a cat fishing prank on my girlfriend. Now, there's been a little bit of prank wars going on recently. I've been pranking Ellie, she's been pranking me, you know, it's all been going down. But today, I am about to pull off a sick prank. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my mobile cellular device, this thing, and make a new Instagram account. I actually need a new phone because Look what I've done. You see that? My phone is completely wrecked. It's smashed there and there is no camera on the back of it. You'll never guess how I did it. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I was taking the dog out for a wee. I was on my phone. I put my phone in my pocket in my dressing gown. Guess what happened? The dressing gown has a hole in the pocket. Dropped straight to the floor and smashed. Just how life goes, you know? Sometimes things happen, guys, but you gotta keep going. But that's all okay because I'm currently looking for a new phone. My contract has ended on this phone, so I am very soon ordering a new phone. And with that new phone, I'm actually looking to switch providers because the provider that I'm currently with for my phone, I've been with them for years and I just want to change, you know? Everybody fancies a change now and then. So I am actually changing to Smarty. Smarty is powered by three and their new mega plan is an exclusive Black Friday offer that offers 100 100 gigabytes, yes you heard that correctly, 100 gigabytes of data for just 17 pounds a month. 17 pounds a month. And along with that, you get unlimited calls, unlimited texts, and EU roaming. And, even better, if you use my link to sign up, which is in the description below, you will get one month absolutely free. Now, the reason I'm actually looking to switch over to Smarty is because I'm always using data on move. I'm not always on Wi-Fi. I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Twitter, everything while I'm on a train, while I'm on a plane. Maybe not, when I'm in the airport, maybe. But wherever I go, I'm always using data. I imagine that you guys are in the same boat as me. Who needs calls these days? Who needs texts? You've got them unlimited anyway, and you've got 100 gigabyte of data. And the best thing is, Smarty does not tie you in with a long contract, and there is no credit check. It's just a simple 30 days rolling contract where you can cancel any time. Now, don't worry. I'm going to show you myself, because I actually have a Smarty SIM card. But the data plan offer comes with no speed restrictions. And guess what? Smarty is the only mobile network that offers this. As well as offering money back to you for data that is not used. But this is only available on the core plans like extra small, small, medium, and large. Right now, what I'm gonna show you on a different phone, not this one, because it's smashed. This is just an old iPhone, and this is what the Smarty SIM looks like. It's basically just a normal SIM card. You all know what a SIM card looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this out, and I'm I'm gonna put it into this phone. I'll be back with you in a second. Oh, hello there, sir. I am back right now. So I've just moved over to the side slightly so that I can show you a screen recording on my phone of the actual speeds using the data plan that I have on this SIM card. So I'm opening up Instagram right now, and as you can see, it's literally loading it that quick. I can scroll down all of these, and if I click on my profile, you can see how quickly it literally loads instantly. There is no speed restrictions. Now I'm loading up YouTube. It'll come up with the home page. There we go. Again, it loads it up basically instantly. And if I play my latest video, you will see how quickly it loads everything. Easy. It's literally that easy. And that was just the Smarty data plan. That wasn't connected to Wi-Fi or anything. That was just using the Smarty data from the SIM card. So guys, if you are interested in trying out the Smarty SIM yourself, which I recommend you do if you need a lot of data just like me, just click my link in the description below and it will take you right to the website and you can sign up in just a couple of clicks. But this offer does end on the 3rd of December, so you need to be really quick if you want to get your hands on this Black Friday deal. Alright, so it's been a couple of days later since the last clip, which I'll which I'll explain why in a minute. But just before we go any further, Hinge Gang shout out right there. Hinge Gang shout out right there. Hinge Gang shout out right there. So, 
catfishing my girlfriend, eh? There's a reason I'm in different clothes. It's a couple of days later. Let me just explain. The first step into catfishing my girlfriend was I needed to set up my fake catfishing Instagram account. So I went with the name Jordan Clark. So my profile was set up and looking a little empty. So I just needed to find someone to be my catfish. So I searched through Google until I found the perfect person to use. This guy. The next step was to set up the bio, which was new account, old account, hacked at 10k, sad face. Then I needed to make my first post, captioned new account, peace emoji. And boom, just like that, my new catfish account was ready to use. All I needed to do over the next couple of days was follow random people to get them to follow me back. And then I could unfollow them to make it look like I had more followers than I was following people. <gasps> That was a big mouthful, let's go. And so now that's why it's been a couple of days because what I wanted to do was use that Instagram profile and follow loads of people on Instagram. Then once they follow me back, unfollow them. It's not the nicest thing to do and I don't recommend you do it because it's, it's just not, it's really not nice, is it? But I needed to do it simply for the purpose of this video. So now this is what my catfishing Instagram account looks like. I've only got three posts because I could only find three photos of this guy. I don't even know who he is. If you know him, leave a comment down below. <laughs> so I've managed to make it look like I've got more followers than I am following people. <laughs> <sighs> That's me. And obviously, in all of those thousands of people that I am following, Ellie is one of them. So Ellie is currently out shopping with her friends, so that's why I know it's safe in the house, I'm in on my own. She's not gonna be able to hear what I'm doing, I'm pranking her with a catfishing prank. Now ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is when it starts. I am gonna go on my catfishing Instagram account and I am going to DM Ellie for the first time on a different account. So I'm gonna play off as if I kind of recognize Ellie from somewhere because I do. So I'm gonna send her a message and I'm gonna say, hey, don't I know you from somewhere? And now all we need to do is sit and wait for a reply because most likely the message is gonna go in her requests on Instagram. She's replied. It's been about 10 minutes, right? I don't know how to feel. I do not know how to feel because this is my girlfriend I'm talking to on a different account with fake pictures. She has replied saying, hmm, not sure, you seem kind of familiar. How to take that. I'm gonna reply back now with a very, very flirty message to see how she reacts to it. I have never spoke like this before in my life, but I'm gonna do it like some, what's the word? Like as if I was a player. So I'm gonna say, I'm sure I've seen your cute, your cute face around somewhere, monkey emoji. So now what I'm gonna do again is just sit and wait for a reply, see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm not really looking forward to this. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes and she's replied saying, who knows, is that a compliment and a winky face? She doesn't even use emojis with me. Mine and Ellie's text messages are literally just sentences saying, where are you? And I reply with, I'm upstairs. And then she says, you wanna come down for something to eat? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay on the flirty, Root of stuff that I don't actually say, but I'm gonna try and make me sound like an absolute lad And I'm gonna put I've got plenty of compliments for you girl Emoji <laughs> That sentence has made me feel sick. I've got plenty of compliments for you girl. Why am I smiling? I honestly don't know how I feel about this. I've got mixed emotions She replies to a lot of people on Instagram like you guys message her and she replies to you guys on Instagram So to me that's just being friendly and saying hello back, but it's just Feeling like it's getting a bit flirty. She's replied and oh, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, you'll have to save your compliments. I'm afraid. I have a boyfriend. Oh yes, you do, sister. Cause he's here talking to you. But right, I just want to see how she's gonna react to my reply. So what I'm gonna put, you know, when you message an absolute player and they're always like, oh, I don't care. You've got a boyfriend. He's not gonna find out. Well, they always find out, but I'm gonna reply with, that doesn't matter to me. Smirky face. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm flirting with my own girlfriend on a different account. I trust her though. I, do, I am only doing this video simply for entertainment purposes. There is no concerns about it. We trust each other. I just wanted to make an entertaining video, you know what I'm saying? She has replied saying, someone seems pretty confident and a rolling eye emoji. I think that means you fed up. What makes you think you're better than him? Well, you see, Ellie, I am him. Oh, wait, how does that make sense? You're not gonna get better than me. <laughs> Honey, you ain't gonna get better than me. Cause I am what you call 
a legend. I know what I'm gonna put. I'm I'm gonna try and sway her towards flirting to see what she actually does. So I'm gonna put, is that such a bad thing? I think we're better suited. Now, hear me out. I'm only putting this to see how she reacts. I'm not testing it because I'm insecure or anything like that. Like I say, entertainment. But I just want to see how she reacts to this. Imagine getting a message off some random and being like, I think we're better suited. Well, you tell me why the past couple of years I've been with this person then, where have you been? Exactly. And she's replied saying, not so much. I don't understand that. Oh, not so much, that's a bad thing. Okay. Hmm, do you now? I'm a loyal girlfriend. Exactly. Exactly. That's that's what I wanted to hear, which I know she is. So, I'm going to reply back saying, you seem it, winky face, because I know that she is. Even though this account is meant to be a fake person, but it's secretly me. She's replied saying, what's that supposed to mean? And uh Shocked face. Can I just say, I'm shocked at how much she's replying. Usually with things like this, she sort of just shuts them down straight away, so. Yeah, uh, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit on edge. I'm just gonna reply saying, I think you know. Implementing that I think she knows what I'm getting at because I want her, when secretly, it's me. Is this gonna make me sad? <laughs> she's just replied saying, a little flirting never hurt nobody. Does that mean she's happy to flirt back with a random person that's not me or I don't really understand what she means by that but I'm still gonna play along as my character and I'm gonna put that's what I like to hear to see if she carries on flirting back with me she's just replied saying so Jordan how come you're single I mean and love heart eyes emoji why 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 would she put that? I don't get it. I'm still gonna play along and be the fake person that I've made and I'm gonna reply saying, just waiting for the right girl. I'm getting nervous now because I don't know. If I oh dear. Well, if you're good at keeping secrets, maybe I could be that girl. Is she having a laugh? Surely she's joking. She's basically just told a random guy that she would happily be his girl if he can keep a secret when she is really with me. I'm her boyfriend. See, because that shocked me, I don't, I don't know what to say. That's really annoyed me. <laughs> I'm gonna say, whoa, you surprised me. Didn't have you down as that type because I didn't. And she's replied straight away saying that I guess you don't know me that well. I mean, clearly not. Clearly I don't. <laughs> You're messaging boys back saying that you're happy to keep the secrets, which is basically cheating. I'll carry on. I'm gonna say, maybe I want to get to know you. She must know something. Surely she's not doing this. I don't know. She just asked, what do you want to know with a winky face? I want to know why you're blooming cheating. Right, I'm gonna see if she flirts back to this and sort of pursues what I'm saying. I'd like to know what would make you a good match for me? Does anybody actually flirt like this? I've not flirted with someone in ages because I don't flirt with Ellie. I've already got her. This is how I got her. Fishing line. <laughs> Hi. That was it. <laughs> She's replied saying, wouldn't you like to know? Let's just say I tick all of the boxes. I, I don't know what, I don't know what to think. She's literally flirting back and she's with me. I mean, what did I expect though? Like, I brought this on myself because I've messaged her off of a, a fake account. So, like, I'm blaming myself, but I didn't expect her to actually, like, message back like she is. Let's see what she'll say to this. I wonder what your boyfriend would think of this. Oh, I've spelt your, I put you are. Oh, I wonder what you are boyfriend would think of this. Nice one, grammars. She just replied saying, who cares? I wonder what your boyfriend would think of this and she put who cares. She's never, never, ever, ever, ever spoke like that before. I can't tell if she's been serious or not because she had never spoke like that and she rarely uses emojis. I'm just gonna carry it on though and I'm gonna put I can keep a secret if you can. Shush emoji. This is going down a route that I really didn't want it to go down. I don't know what to expect. I really don't know what to expect. She just replied now saying, sure, it will be nice to have a bit of excitement going on. What does she mean? We go bowling, we go to the zoo, we go on holiday, we film YouTube videos, that, what, what does she mean? We've just moved house. It's okay, I'm playing along. I'm confident that she's joking. I hope she's joking. Sure things would be a lot more exciting with me than they would with him. Winky face. Bit of a heads up, Ellie. 
I am him. Oh, this is doing my head in. Oh, I know that for sure. He can be so boring. You look like fun and love hat eyes emoji. What have I done wrong? He can be so boring. We've just moved into a house. <laughs> like, what's boring about that? If I ask her, let's see if she tells me what she's interested in. So I'll say, what do you like to get up to? This is so annoying. Why did I even decide to do this? She said, I like going places, which we do. I'm not boring. Neither am I. <laughs> I like outgoing things. Me too. Bowling. We go bowling. Cinema. We go to the cinema. I love travelling. We go travelling. What else is there that... I'm so confused. How about you? Well, should I just say, well, yeah, I like the same things because I'm the same plumbing person. What a coincidence. I like the same sort of things. And I regret saying this bit, but maybe we should do them together. Winky face. <sighs> My heart is going... I don't know what to think. I am, um, I just, I don't know what to do. She just replied saying, I would love that. I don't get it. I don't get why, why? But I'm still in two minds to think whether she's joking and she might have a little idea that it's fake or if she's actually being serious. And if she is being serious, then I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reply saying, it's a date. Whereabouts do you live? I imagine that she'll say, we live. In the area we live, and we've moved into a house together. That would be a big inkling to stop messaging back. She replied saying, I live in Barnsley, which we do, we live in Barnsley. With my boyfriend, we've just moved in together, but he travels a lot, so I can be at home on my own a lot. We have just moved into a house together, and yes, I am away a lot, but what does she mean by that? I go back and forth to London quite a bit, but sometimes I only go for a day, and then I come back again. I'm gonna send a really flirty message, but I'm gonna lie about where this person is from and I'm gonna say that's not too far from me I live in Manchester because we go to Manchester a lot maybe I can keep you company when he's traveling so you're not on your own if she now decides to say yes she is we're done we are over we're finished she just replied saying I love Manchester there's some great things to do there hmm maybe I'll have to take you up on that offer he'd never know about it. Is she stupid? Is she stupid? I'm gonna reply to her telling her about the Christmas markets because I know that she really wants to go to the Manchester Christmas markets. So I wanna see what she'll say if I talk about them. The Christmas markets are up. Maybe we could go there soon if you want. And I know that she wants to because she keeps asking me if we can go. So she definitely wants to go. Now she's literally just replied straight away saying, oh, I've been begging Lee to take me. It's so sweet you offered. It's a date. Well, it's not, is it? It's not a date. Is this cheat? This is literally cheating, isn't it? Honestly, I'm so confused. I don't know what to think. I'm going to keep playing this person until I can get her to sort of confess that she wants to meet up. And then I'm going to wait for her to come home from shopping. And I'm just going to confront her about everything. I like the sound of that. Could you make it through today? Do you drive? Now, she should say that she can't make it through today because she's out shopping with her mates at the minute. And she can't drive. She replied to everybody saying, I don't. To be honest, I just use my boyfriend to take me everywhere which she doesn't exactly use me. We go everywhere together, so I just drive because I'm the only one that can drive. I guess I could get the train, but I don't know where I would say I'm going. Can you get me from the station? So now she's literally asking this person to pick her up from the train station to meet her. She's never, ever done this before. She's not the type of person to do this. This is why I'm really confused, but she's really flirting back and saying that she'll meet up with this person that is actually me. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you could say you're going back out with some friends, then go to Piccadilly Station and I can get you from there. I only said Piccadilly because that's basically the only station in Manchester that I know that I always go to when I go to Manchester. Yeah, I guess he knows I've just been seeing friends today, but I can, I could. Not very good English there, is it? But anyway, I could say I'm staying over at my friends. That's if you'll have me. What car am I looking for? You annoy me, why? I don't know how to feel. I really don't know how to feel about this because I don't know I can't tell if she's being serious or not, but to me, she looks pretty serious. She's asking about where to meet him and what car to look out for. I have just got a new car. This is my car, so I'm gonna tell her that she has to look out for a white Mercedes because that is what car I've got. Sounds like a plan to me. It's a white Merc. My car is white and it's a Mercedes. Surely this has got to click. She literally replied straight away saying, my kind of car can't wait to meet you. She's going to cheat on me. She's literally going to cheat on me. 
I'm sure I've just heard her come in the house. I think she's come back. Hello? Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Hey. She's just come home. So I think final message what I'm gonna do is saying, I'll see you soon. <sighs> right, I've just sent I'll see you soon. So Ellie's currently downstairs, as you've just heard. All I'm gonna wait for now is her to potentially leave the house to basically go cheat on me. And I'm gonna run downstairs before she goes out with the camera and confront her. <sighs> So I sat here on my phone and waited for about 15 minutes until Ellie decided she wanted to go out. What? Wait a sec. Where are you going? I'm just going to have some friends. Where? Uh, I think we're going to go to Sheffield to Christmas markets. I won't be long. Well, you know that person that you're going to go meet in Manchester? <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. Why did you look so serious? Because you've been messaging someone. Right. How do you know? Because the person was me. Right. And I knew that. That's why I weren't replying. What do you mean? You really think I'd reply to someone randomer? What you were doing? Yeah, because I came in earlier and I heard you talking about it. When? Like, 15 minutes ago. So I've played along with it because you're always, always trying to catch me out. Like the hell I cheat on you. I was... So you're not cheating on me? No, I'm not cheating on you. I live with you for God's sake. But you are going to take me to the Christmas markets. Wait, so you are going back out? No, I mean like, we are going to go. I'm not going with Jordan, whoever Jordan is. Jordan's me. So you're not cheating on me? No. Oh, thank you. I love you, Blue. <laughs> All this time you've been pranking me? Yes. I'm not going to go meet Jordan. Yeah. Wait, no, I've just been pranked. I'm so stupid. So you've been playing along the whole time? Yes, Lee. I heard you. I came in and you went, right, guys, so today I'm going to be doing a catfish prank on Ellie. I'm going to lock myself in my room and never come out again. How do I not know that you're joking? Because I was smart enough to record it. Show me. I recorded me. it on my phone. Being out with my friends and I've just heard Lee upstairs say that he's going to prank me with a catfish prank. So I'm going to go along with it and see if I can catch him out. Um, but he doesn't know I'm back yet, so... This could be good. So what about when you came in through in the door? What, wait, what about when you came in? I didn't come in. I came in earlier and then I pretended to open the door again so you'd hear it. <laughs> oh well, thanks. I didn't want to be cheated on. In fact, no, get off me. You've been speaking to blooming Jordan Clark 99. I thought I was going to have to get rid of my house. Or just my girlfriend. Well, that's that, guys. I've just been pranked. I, uh, I didn't know what was happening. But if you enjoyed that video, somehow, please go down below, leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I would really appreciate that. If you would like a Hinge Gang shout out in my future videos, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you are new, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram and like my most recent post and you could get a Hinge Gang shout out in my future videos. I need to work on my pranks better because this was just a disaster. I love you all and peace. Stupid stu I don't want a girlfriend anyway. I'm going to get rid of her. Get rid of her. Just live a happy life without stupid girlfriend. I love you so much. Stupid girlfriends. Better life, better life,